Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War unification casts this side of East Yorkshire. And today we've got a 1 versus 1 on Meeting of Minds. Playing on the right hand side as the Adaptive Mechanicus, we've got Waffle Stomper 55. And playing on the right hand side as the Inari, we have got Vrakt. Just wait for you Verin to finish off her own poetry as usual. There we go. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a little bit of something different going on in this match. Normally, unification matches are just completely and totally annihilation focused. This one's got some strategic point controls and some critical location and controlled victories. So I might even have to see some world. defensive maneuvering stuff on the go. Not sure whether the, the prone sword shard locations affect these bits and bobs, but we, we do have the standard opening for the Admech, the Warrior of the Omnisayer. He's charging in. He's actually got gone for the heavy flame straight away, helping him take down large amounts of lightly armored infantry. And yeah, one squad wipe already been done. Got your Vrain on the way, and nothing major coming out of the infantry portal as of yet. We'll probably want to see something. Probably some Dark Eldar with their anti-matter cannons to break up the War of the Omnissiah. Well, I suppose that these guys' strategy is just to ignore the War of the Omnissiah until the Wi-Fi is depleted. I mean, maybe. That might be the idea. We're not exactly having the best times, are they? Two squad wipes, and the early stage of the game is not exactly what you want, especially the two capping units, so your economy is going to be much more behind. But where are the, where are the shard locations? We've got one here, we've got one there, we've got three here, four there, and where's number five? Five is there, right, so it's not impossible for them to get all their chrome sword locations um, captured Together and stuff. But then again, it's going to be quite difficult to get these two specifically. Or the Omnisite is going to come back home before he has some troubles. Now we go to narrowly, avoid, uh, narrowly get in there in time, so he will go here, recharge his stuff before, I imagine, then coming back over to annihilate the Yanari once again. But yeah, major major problems for them. The beginning, at the beginning stages of the game. What they're coming at the moment is 32 and 10, compared to 38 and 0, which, I should be fair, that's not a major downfall, but then again it will stop them from expanding as quickly as they would like. We've got the I pass pistols capturing their nearest and dearest as quickly as they possibly can. More of the armor site now coming in for a second. Go also the Megas Explorator as well. But against Yvrain, probably won't do all that well. Being mind wore down pretty quickly. She's only got 900 health as opposed to Yvrain with 1310. But relying on that warrior of the armor to do the majority of the cracking on for her. Also got a bearing in mind as well that the Yunari also benefit from having dead Eldar. Every soul that they collect can potentially be used for quick teching up. So amazing bounce back ability for the uh, Yunari when they're playing from behind. But double warriors, none of their... Oh, right, it's that, that amount of blasters is, is your tier 2 and stuff. Shredder rifle, that's what you want, your tier 1s. Go down a trudge to it, which is going to be very difficult for the Yunari to deal with at this stage of the game. You definitely need those shredders online. We are going to see a soul armory soonish. It won't be quick enough to save that listing post. Or maybe even potentially that infantry portal. Gonna build up another listing post over onto this side. Surprising, I, know, I would expect that both burn singers to be building up that soul armory as quickly as humanly possible. Another mind war going on the Megas Explorer set. The Wi-Fi of the War of the Omnissiah now falling foul. And she's going to charge in. Slice this lady up. Gale on Gale action as the Trantor Turret it's firing away at the warrior squads. Doing a little bit of damage. Not a game ending level. Now we're going to go for maximum amounts of shredder rifles on all these guys. Do have the high pass pistols coming forward. Optimal. Supporting roles, I imagine. Logging aggression. Do have the Megas Explorer coming back in. But yeah, she's not going to be winning any engagements here. She's purely playing a supporting role in these engagements. Got a third squad of Warriors as well. Omnicide goes down with a huge explosion. And the Trench Turret keeps the Dark Eldar away for now as the High Pass Pistols now cheekily start capturing stuff over here. Oh, actually, if they're able to build up a plumbing, what's they called? The the NFT searchers on here, and then put some zappy stuff on it. Should be alright at defending this, but don't think they'll be able to get it up in time. Archimagos goes down. And, so not the Archmaker, sorry. 
the regular Magos. And these guys are going to run away with the tail between their legs. But they have hemmed in the Eldar. I mean, they haven't even captured all their naturals, let alone building up listing posts on top of them. Are going to see tier 2 now as the STC searches. Fuzz and Fuzz with electronic capabilities are being placed down here as well. And the high pass has been chased around by these guys. Now, the Death Mechanicus, their STC searches are either primarily for defensive stuff with their zappy bits or their research ones. But with so many of these additional Crone Sword locations, they can capture them and then build their stuff on there. So these, these are essentially, from the perspective of the Adeptus Mechanicus, are just additional turrets that they can stick down. And when fully upgraded, they are quite substantial. Hypaspis going for their long las rifles. Ideally, they want to stay as far away as humanly possible from the warrior squads to do the damage, which these Shredder rifles are just redonkulously, redonkulously strong. If I can get my words out. Defensive first being added, but won't probably see the light of day. Technological oh, about, where are all the other fighting forces? I don't think there are any at the moment. They are trying to get a Hellstalker on, but there's currently no stuff out there. We've got to get a data value level yellow. That will give them some space for Hellstalker. Hellstalker should, in theory, slap these guys about. Who knows? in the greater stages of things. There we go. Hellstalk has been finished. The second one instantly being built up. He's going to come out of the ground like a angry dolphin with extra legs. Spinning to winning. That one Eldar for throwing him over the shoulder. And Yvrain, can you go toe to toe? Doesn't look like it, actually. A fair bit of damage. Actually, all, all the Dark Eldar are doing a, a, a good job against him. There's some zappy stuff from the STC section there. The second Hellstalker coming out of the the ground. But the Dark Eldar are able to... I mean, look at the speed on these boys. Swift and nimble. Able to dance circles around these Hellstalkers. But the... Oh, for a second I thought that was, that was the Dutch Mechanicus. No, got some, some, some Storm Guardians doing their capping and stuff. Men and servitors attempting to repair some stuff, but being killed. Oh, no, no, man, you, you live. You're all right. That's good. Very kind of Dark Eldar. That stock exploding. Like a few people back. Not really doing any damage from that. And this is looking worse and worse for the Admech. They opened up really, really strong. But now they're a bit flummoxed. STC Setra giving some more zappy bits here. But, yeah, probably Hellstalker needs to leave them well enough alone, as well as the fact that they've got no money, basically, to buy a lot of stuff. So it's very unfortunate. And Archmagos on the way. Can Archmagos hold them off, though? That is my question. Not seeing anything crazy going on in the Yanari base, just capturing stuff. Fresh Hellstalker. Oh, no, you must have came back to life. Let me throw away. And the STC section goes down. Archmagos does have an ability where he's able to throw down a big boom. Some strafing explosives. Whether they can actually, whether that's actually going to do much damage. I imagine it'll do a lot of damage to the warriors. He's also going to attempt to build up one of these STC sections. There we go. Huge bomb. Not quite getting them when, the, when they've been messed up. You have the machine reliquy now with lots of shooter bits on it there. Yvrain zapping the Archmagos. He's going to fall back, hopefully in, in between these two zappy things. Another Hellstalker to show the way. Yvrain just decided to rub her face against three Storm Bolters. Like, come and try and kill me. But sadly, their firing arc is quite limited. Now, if, if the if the Machine Reliquary was actually facing... Well, if the, if the front of it was facing this way, it's a lot more useful for defensive purposes, but he is able to get guns on the front, eventually, given time. There's a lot of Dark Eldar. A lot of Dark Eldar, indeed. Hellstalker is just going to think, right, well, the only way to really keep you away from the base is by causing issues in your own base. That's a fair enough assessment. 
They can't really ignore it. it. Will do a lot of damage, and it's got any incredible amount of Wi-Fi to be able to do what it needs to. Don't this, the infantry portal keeps on making me think that it's building stuff up. I feel like a little animation going on, but it's not. It's not building up anything. And what, Elstalker, what are you going to do? There we go. We're going to start munching away on this infantry portal. Not sure why it's gone for this, but there we go. Another Hellstalker on the way. Seeing if he can smash these guys along. Morale being broken. And yeah, I guess that's just a strategy. If you want to keep the Eldar in the base, just force them into it with a base trade. Do have Storm Guardians capping the strategic point down here. Archmagos watching from a distance, blowing them up. One with gun, two with plane. It's a good amount. Blowy up stuff. I pass this now, recapping all the stuff inside their base. As the Hellstalker attempted to kill a listening person, not quite getting it there. And are you getting back up? You are getting back up. Here we go. Round two, Electric Boogaloo. Only yellow health, but that's fine. Dark Hell, although they don't care about that. Just gonna hope they just stands there, which it does seem to be. Well, what's your plan, Hellstalker? There we go. Maybe it was like, like most spiders, where when it detects trouble, it just stays still as possible. Do you have the this STC section being used as the research one, which is quite interesting. Wouldn't normally see that. It'd be normally one of these ones around the back, not the one that's easily exposed. Maybe a bit of a misplay from the. Add mech here. Although, in saying that, it was the northern side of their base that was being assaulted a lot beforehand. Which makes us trying to. Oh, that, that explosive ability. That's quite quite a short cooldown on it, doesn't it? Again, being zapped by your brain. Now, are they able to get tier 4 before the building goes down? It doesn't look like it. Oh, dear. That's very unfortunate. Now they'll need to not only rebuild a STC searcher. Which, to be fair, I think they've all got their defensive stuff on, so you can't upgrade these to being a research one now. It's got to basically be this one, which is going to be another easily assaultable searcher indeed. Archimago's been bothered and pestered, but you've right now been zapped on both ends. One in the front, one in the back, which is not a fan. Warriors are just forced to keep their distance. Go and see the advanced defense first. Mark Magos. Bench going in for some repairs. Very flexible. Oh, pardon me. Bit of a frog in my throat there. But the Arch Magos attempting to repair that stuff. His repairing rate is quite decent. But Yvrain is just. Have, she's got no chill whatsoever. So run away as best you can, young man. While the machine reliquies do their business. Now double. Advanced defense platforms, which is not what she wants to deal with at all. Look at the economy, it's 119 and 79 compared to 92 and 60. My goodness, there's still I mean, stuff going on on the webway support portal and a Talos. Interesting, very interesting indeed. They're just playing the Dark Eldar at this point, but different here. But also got their greater warp generators, although it does look like they're going to go for a second one as well. Ooh, that was a Harlequin sound. Where are the Harlequins? Where have you gone? You've lost your warrior support portal. Nope, can't seem to see him. Oh well, doesn't matter. SCC Setcher once again going to be cracked open. Got another Hellstalker coming out. What what are you gonna do with Talos? That's my that's my question. I don't see anything that the Dex Mechanicus have that would really struggle against. A task. Although maybe they just want something equivalent to a Hellstalk or something mechanical and close combat -y. We did see in the Soulstorm game the other day that Talos, when it's actually going one-to-one -one against another Walker, does a fair bit of damage. So maybe that's the plan. It's just the pathing for it's just, just silly. Here he goes. He's stabbing it around the legs. Yeah. There we go. Good stuff. Hellstalker being taken aback. Archmagos looking for those repairs. Seeing if we can get that advanced ad, advanced defense post on the way with a Hellstalker ally incoming. Yeah, he's just going to snip, snip. A game of rock, paper, scissors. Talos 
Always oh, got scissors. He's actually, yeah, he's just out matching the repair speed of the Archmagos. My goodness, my gracious. There it goes. And soon the Hellstalker will follow. Ecky flip. That's a tenant for the books. Tier 4 on the way again. Can the... At this point, can the Dark Eldar really sort out the STC set yet? Before it's finished, you might even do it. That would be such a kick in the teeth if they're able to prevent it again. Oh, never mind. They've, they've just narrowly got it. If the Yanari were a little bit quicker. Also got that Machine Reliquary with the Laskins on the front now. Toss very low on health. Where are you off to, young man? Triple Zappers, wherever that third one came from. The Archmagos, well, sorry, not the Archmagos. Yvrain, she's deaded. That was doing a fair bit of damage to that machine reliquy. Not going to stand up. To be fair, you know what, after seeing that, maybe just get a couple more tosses. That's probably the first time I've ever said that in my entire life, but... You know, everyone's got a niche. Everyone could be useful in some situations. Uh, at least that's what I tell myself. Your brain coming back out. Let's talk no Wi-Fi left. Dark Eldar continuing to dance rings around the mechanical spitters. Archmagos just... Oh, I... <laughs> A little backflip into the sand. Fair enough. And there's a veritable buffet for the Hellstalker at the moment. But it doesn't seem to really know which one he wants to munch on. Yeah, not going to survive at all. Got plenty of grav platforms now. Got to upgrade themselves with D-cannons. Not much else going on. So, from the perspective of the Dungeon Mechanicus, you're in tier 4 now. So, you've got to bring out the really big guns. Whereas the Yanari are going to get tier... Uh, tier 3, I think is you need rises or oh, arises. The soul boost. Doesn't cost them any money, I don't think. Yep, it's just using the souls of the dead. So they should have, in theory, then a fair bit of money. Oh, so that's the hold on. I'm getting myself confused here, right? The Adeptus Mechanicus, that is their economy, and they're doing pretty well. The Yunari, no, you're not. Okay. Fair enough. You do have a lot of income coming in. All your war shrine add-ons. So actually. I take that back, your economy is doing remarkably well. Archmagos Prime. Sent by Ted Bezos himself. Is it Ted Bezos? The guy who owns Amazon. Whatever his name is. Old Baldy McBaldson. Coming in to take on the plasma generators. Warrior Squad's attempting to do the STC search you're in, but this is not something you can take on lightly. It's quite possibly the best defendable. Oh, def best defensive structure in regards to uh, things that you pop on strategic points. Here comes another Talos. Can you get him? Can you continue being useful? And he can. My goodness. Brings a tear to my eye. I tell you now, boys and girls. Lehman Russ burning the uh, Eldar to a crisp. Talos can't exactly quite keep up with Lehman Russ. He's also being bothered and pestered by the Archmagus Prime on the side. Now they're engaging. Go on, can you do it? Give us another one. Oh, it's emotional. Damn it, Archmagus getting in the way. Oh, it's like he's being a referee. He's like, right, okay, boys, I want a clean fight. Oh, that's not a clean fight. The Spurn Singer coming around the flanks. Oh, blimey. Okay, right, well. Oh, I look like we're going to have a gentleman's agreement to just not fight each other. Fair enough. <laughs> What an odd engagement. Well, the Archmagus Prime is going to run away now. And the Lehman Russ King Patton, another Talos, is going to run away as best he can. A very long cannon, that. More exploded bits from the Archmagus. Well, lots of poison and stuff. But Talos don't mind it. It will happily endure any kind of poisony nonsense. Archmagos going to build up the STC searcher before fading off into nothing. Oh, that, that was a teleport. The second machine reliquy is being built up as the Lehman Russ King Patterns 
continuously come out. And at this point, we're probably needing to see a... There we go, a Knight Paladin. If you've got the tech advantage, you may as well go for the big units. Huge explosions from the Demon Wrestle, also being backed up by the Machine Reliquary as well. Natalis well, can't really take him on at the moment. We'll just fall back and see what else we can go for. That's quite a slur. Uh, upgrade rate. I, w I wonder if using a soul boost uh, is it's just a slower kind of time form. Fertiles, my goodness. What a lucky set of boys and girls we are today. A fleet of angry scorpion people. Greater warp generator coming back online. Are they no, the, the Admech aren't building their own on here. They're just leaving the Yanari to have their own economy. Which, I mean, what is it? 194 and 100 compared to 135 and 105. So they've definitely got much more money incoming. The Admech have got barely any infantry on the go. Now, I wonder why that is. I mean, they're building up Knight Paladin down here. I assume that they're just going to get that Knight Paladin online, use it defensively, and then build up the rest of their fighting force. I will explain all the money that they've saved up. He says... You know, I'm not surprised that they haven't used these uh, shard locations to further bolster their defences. Talises don't seem to care at all about the STC searchers. And here comes Knight Paladin. And with two long sticks. Well, chainsaws, but they look like sticks from this angle. Talis attempting to take it on, but been taken down. What can even do anything useful? Triple lightning bolts straight into the hide of the Talos. We do now also have a razor wing jet fighter though. Another plumbing uh, STC set goes down. One almost will fall uh, suit as well. Good lord, when did you become so tanky? Are the Yanari Talos is different, I wonder, in some way. Razor wing is going to fall back, although it didn't seem to do that much damage against the Lehman Russ here. Press gang Got plenty of grav platforms inside. Replacement Talos. And I don't know how the Inari are going to deal with the Knight Paladin at this stage. I haven't got much in the way of anti-vehicle stuff. Apart from those Talos, but I don't think the Talos is wanting to engage in close combat with these guys. Although he seems to be worried. Doesn't to run away as best he can. Fix that one. What was that one called? A turbo laser destructor. The first part of the prophecy has been fulfilled. Oh, I got true bond. If you don't know, uh, you now re get like a, a boost, a buff, shall we say, if they complete all all the parts of the prophecy by recruiting certain units. Dark Lance is on the way for the true bond. That should be very useful in sniping on that Knight Paladin. Although, in saying that, actually. He's already got his Void Shield being taken down. It's taken down a significant amount of damage as well. Archmega's Prime coming in for the repairs. Talos attempting some stabbers. Good lord, man. That is... That's dangerous levels of, of DPS going on. We hide behind the STC searcher, but it has been... Oh, that, that wasn't a destruction, was it? That was, did that look like something? It was like teleporting the SEC section that way. I wonder if that's what, what the case is. Just don't know why it's degraded itself. Maybe that's the cost of doing that. Potentially, maybe. Like, a troop on here. And they're soon to go for the Dark Lances. Help them significantly with the Knight Paladin. Over here, we do have a good amount of Hellstalkers inside the base. Forcing the Eldar back to defend half and half. Second webway portal, or support portal even, has been finished. Hellstalk is making quick work of the grab platforms. Now should be turning their attention to webway gates and to warp generators, preferably the warp generators. But in saying that, you can take down those guys, but because they've still got these things here and here, it's probably where you should really focus your attention at the moment. And seeking you need reborn. 
which is their tier 4, if I am not mistaken. I don't think I've ever seen the Inari in tier 4. Their games have always been quite short. Very excited to see what they can pull off. With that turbo laser destructor. Very accurate. Long range. Quite, quite good sound as well. We do have some Death Jesters. The first non-Dark Eldar unit we've seen for quite some time here. This guy will mulch his way for any kind of infantry. There's not much infantry for the Admech at the moment. The intimidating Talos floating on over. He's a big scary boy. Just slice and dice. Away we go. Archmaker's on the back there. Repair jobs. My fast bit's been blasted around everywhere by missiles. And the Dark Knight. Oh, sorry, the, the Knight Paladin even. Get my uh, name is mixed up now. Yeah, he's not, he's not in it. He's not in it to win it. Got a maintenance service as well coming over to build and repair stuff. Jubal for their green flowing capes. Beautiful sight to see. Have you now got your Dark Lancers? Yes, you have. The Admet might struggle with all this anti-vehicle stuff on the field. The Knight Paladin throwing around lots of rockets. One Talos is down. The uh, Trueborn being thrown around like, like, like ragdolls. And they might have to now start going on, on the defensive here. Another Talos, another Talos. Replacement Razor Wing Jet Fighter. And we're seeing some Hecatari Witches. As well as some Vehicle Hollow Fields. So... It's further increasing the health and resistance of the Taloses here. And where are you focusing on, young man? I've seen some stabby bits. Oh, my pardon. Are we seeing the mobile port, though? That's my question. If you, if you, I reckon that a mobile machine reliquary at this point would do you a lot of good. You have the money for it. Yeah, oh, mate, you've got the money for it. You've only got one squad cap at the moment. You could just be spending all your money on anything. Like, I get it, like, Hecata well, the um, high pass aren't amazing, but you can afford to build them, and they will at least absorb some of the damage, even if you just give them grenade launchers to knock these guys around. That's the main thing, but squandering his economy, focusing exclusively on the big shiny tools that the Admech have access to, which squads going around the flanks, seeing if they could sneak up to these maintenance servitors, but not quite able to do so. And they will fall back. A good amount of them, though. Fine amount, indeed. Nothing else crazy being built up. A second introduction for additional warp generator needs. One Hecatari which being thrown backwards. But yeah, even if you... Because I, I understand that massing the Hellstalkers is a decent idea. But, like, you've got the maximum vehicle cap, so while you're waiting for that... Bring forth the baddies. Which is surrounding the Lehman Russ King Patton. But they don't seem to be having an easy job of it. Trubon barely able to get close enough. And we do have quite a sizable Gatlin gun in front of this tank. And some flame ribbits on front of this one. That's a good thing about the uh, uh, Lehman Rust King pattern is that you can upgrade it in very many ways. Giving it remarkable flexibility on the field of battle. The Grey Knight bringing home the bread. Get in that bag. He's carrying the majority of the weight for his team at the moment. Talos says, I don't think they're going to work at this point now. I'm remarkably surprised at what they were able to achieve. But against this composition, I don't think it's going to work for them all that well. Oh, it's got the Orbital Stalker in here. Oh, we've got two Orbital Stalkers, which are able to call down mini exterminatuses. Quite strong against a lot of things. Do have a skull swarm up with the upgrade. 
Although I can't see any skull swarms at the moment. I see some Storm Guardian squads moving down the flanks. Void Dragon Phoenix, Relic Unit for the Dark Eldar. I do believe. Gotta be careful. A huge explosion's coming in. Don't seem to be probing the Talos' one. The Void Phoenix Dragon, or the Void Dragon Phoenix even. He's causing some issues for everyone around here. Matt Paladin quite low on health at the moment now. We'll have to break through the Void Shield up before doing any kind of damage to him. Also given the Mavis Prime ideal time to repair him as well. What's going on down here? Oh, we've just got more Ga Storm Guardians. Gap in the critical locations. And the Machine Reliquy Mobile HQ now. You can bring a lot of DPS to the battlefield. Also helpful to reinforce the front lines. I've just basically been able to pop out lads wherever he is. Which is pretty good. Talos has been shot down before they're even able to get into close combat with the Knight Paladin. Chasing him backwards. Of course, unable to get a good strike at him. But yeah, mobile reliquy, bunch of hellstalkers, bunch of tanks. And at this point, like even just just those like high pass bits uh, that are on those flying boards. If anything, just to split the attention of your opponent. I mean, you can do it. You've got more money than sense. But that's all right. That's okay. What are the you now we doing? Yeah, your economy's still quite fine as well. Can't exactly spend with, with the reckless gay abandon that like the admet can, but so it's not too bad. I don't think the tower strategy is working here. You need to give them a little bit more welly. I mean, and again, the Yunari, they've got plenty of squad cap for their infantry, but not nearly, well, not enough for their vehicle stuff. It might be a wise idea just to go on a bit of an infantry binge for a little while. Storm Guardians who are thinking about capturing this critical location, but not quite. The Orbital Stalker. Wonderful accuracy. Bring it down the big boom. Oh, that Hellstalker. Oh, Hellstalker. Sorry, the Talos. Oh, we're just... Well, I was just seeing more... Oh, this is a massive webway support portal. The potential for the bigger and badder units. So we'll now be in tier 4, I imagine. What else are the Admec building? Oh, they've lost their mobile rel reliquy, so I've got to repair it now. Talos been chased away. Night Paladin almost back to full health here. Wonderful use of recycling from the Magos Prime. What's going on? It's more Trueborn. Oh, actually, right, so lost Burfi squad's Trueborn in that engagement. Fair enough. Tarsus is moving in unison. But dying all the same. So is this the plan for the Admech? Just to slow but surely push down over onto one side or another. It might be worth pushing down over here. Considering that there is that massive webway support portal. I don't know if the Admech know about it. So, well, they haven't sent people down there for quite some time. Might might do it now, the Night Paladin. They've already taken out the relic. Sad Talos returning home. After a bunch of bad stuff. I'm uh, just posturing here. Oh, you see what's going on the high pass, but finally there we go. Seeing that infantry coming out. So, taking on that webway support parcel. They can also get some melter guns if they really wanted to, to aid them in that quest. Another tower is down. Yeah, I mean, what is it? What, what, what can you go through in this situation? I mean... Talos is right, so when they get to close combat, they do a lot of damage, but I reckon it's ranged combat 
that they will need the most. Fire dragons, swooping hawks, something of that ilk would certainly clear out the... I mean, maybe not so much the night pilot, but at least these, thing, these things. Best bit about swooping hawks is that you can bring it in here as well and teleport it up on the ridge. Keep it out of melee combat if that's what Hellstalkers desire. Seeing the Lehman Russes activate their, or whatever would you call this, giant jawbreakers of doom, which reduce heavily the incoming amount of damage from ranged attacks. Taking them on, quite difficult. But they take up the testicle formation, one ball there, one ball there. Shaft being the Knight Paladin, if he's still in formation. We're keeping on, keeping on. Gradually, slowly but surely, they're making some good progress on them. Attempting to build a replacement Void Phoenix Dragon, or Void Dragon Phoenix even. Almost getting it down below full health to the dead zone. But now that the Admech has realised, I mean, have you, have you gone for that max? Yeah, you've gone for max. You've got for a full army here. You spent all your money. Look at that, the power of economy. If you buy the things, you win the things. And poor financial investments in these Talos's. Not what you really want from them. Really good idea originally, but should have teched up a little bit harder. Got some bigger units on the go. I've seen a replacement burning and a replacement of rain. But interesting, I, I wonder if there's a reason why Yanari players don't even bother trying to capture their current sword shard locations. If you do know, if you are a player of, of the Yanari, let us know, because I'm, I'm absolutely perplexed why no one ever goes for these. Like, even like the really easy ones. But hey ho. Why an impressive firing line from the Admech now. The question is, what can the. You know how we're doing this stage. Going for another infantry portal. Trueborn are on the way out. Nothing, nothing at the moment. I'm not missing anything, am I? Nope, fair enough. There's no infiltrated units sneaking on in and winning underneath the nose. But actually, Vrex, he's got the count on Victor on the go. Does the Admech realise this? That's exciting. I mean, they're pushing in. They've got things to destroy, but they don't have the time required to do it. Oh dear. It's like... I mean, I, I can understand why Waffle Stomp isn't exactly focusing on it, because this setting isn't normally switched on for unification. Except at the beginning, it's normally just straight up annihilation. But no, he's, he's probably gonna... I mean, anything on the 20 seconds, that's, that's it. That's, um... That's him done. Because he can't exactly get all the way to one of these points without decapping it. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Victory snatched from the jaws of defeat. And... Yeah, that is, that is, that is really surprising. The uh, Eldar doing some Eldar trickery nonsense at the end of the game to win that game. While the... I mean, the Admet were definitely going to win that if it would have been Annihilation, but that's not how it works. That's, that's not the... The end of the game there, so fantastic stuff. Yeah, nice um, play from both players. Uh, nice to see that the Admech got around to uh, squaring off their uh, uh, unit composition to win the game. And quite an incredible uh, display of, of what the Dark Eldar could do, specifically in the uh, Yunari faction. Would like to have seen them going for maybe something different in the grand scheme of things. But they've won, so it doesn't matter. I don't really need to change anything that they did because they ultimately got victory in the end, so that's fine. So thank you very much, boys, for sending this game into the Discord. If you want to have a look at the Discord, there's links in the description. And there is also a Patreon. But for £1 a month, you get one extra game a week. My name is Slanchark. Pleasure as always, never chart. Now we'll see you in a bit. Peace.